St. Paul tells us this New Year's Day in the epistle that we should be looking for the blessed hope and coming of the glory of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Last week, on the fourth Sunday of Advent, it seems a long time ago, but doesn't time fly, we saw St. John end the last book of the Bible with the fervent prayer, Come, Lord Jesus, come. And I am sure that when his last day came and he died, all peaceful and quiet, that his last prayer as he opened his arms was to exclaim, Come, Lord Jesus, come. And he did for him. St. Stephen, the first of our Christmas saints and the first martyr, falling beneath a shower of stones because of his belief in Christ's divinity, looked up for an instant and said, I see the heavens opened and a Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. Saint Hilarion of uh, Palestine, a hermit since the age of 14, when he went to see St. Anthony in Egypt and learned all he needed to know in two months' time, finally came to die at the age of 80. And as he did, he was heard encouraging himself, saying, Go forth, my soul. What do you fear? Why do you tremble? Seventy years You have served Christ, and now you fear death? Preachers often would speak of death in the old days for New Year's Day, and there is a natural, say rather a supernatural, connection between quickly passing time and its end our entrance into eternity. After three saints, I want to tell you about the story of three men talking together about death. The tale begins with a German and a Pole who are having a rather edifying conversation, at least until the Irishman got there. I would like to know exactly when, the first man said, and since he was a German, he insisted, precisely when I shall die so that I may prepare for that day. Oh, said the Pole, neither the day nor the hour particularly trouble me, but I I should like to know how I am to die, for the Pole had a noble soul and wished to suffer great things, if possible, for God's glory. As for the Irishman, well, the when and the how of his death did not interest him in the least, but the where, ah, yes, he'd pay a million dollars to know where he would die. Where? asked the other two. Well, he said, if he knew where he would die, sure, I would never go near the place. (laughs) Now, speaking of death may seem an odd sort of way to wish you all a happy new year, but I do. With all my heart, this is the very best way to guarantee an excellent new year. Death, the thought of it. Nothing like it for promoting the quality of life each day 
in this new year. Since not a one of us knows the when or the how or the where of our death, we had better stay with what we do know. St. Augustine sums it up. Qualis vita, mors est ita. As you live, so will you die. This has proved true for saints and for sinners. Think of it and resolve in the light of death to improve your life today so that eternal life may be yours today by grace, sanctifying grace. The today of eternity starts for countless thousands. It began at midnight. It will not end until midnight this evening. Countless thousands by death. Why should today not start for you, finally, your life? New Year's Day is the traditional time for resolutions. Don't be satisfied with some desolatory wish, lightly made and soon forgotten. Well, I really need to shed a few pounds and I should exercise more and and eat less. I've got to watch my drinking this year. Or even to hold your tongue and watch your temper. These are praiseworthy but they are soon passed over. Even the rosary or daily prayer is a resolution oft forgotten. In one of my priest's meditation books, called the Pusillum, which means a little while, there is another suggestion for a rather startling resolution that any of us could make. Seize upon the fault that is most annoying and scandalous to others of your household. You don't know what that is? Well, go ahead and ask somebody. Ask your spouse. Ask a sibling. Ask a friend. Talk about imitating the humility of our Lord if they answered you correctly and honestly, why, that would be a cold shower to wake you up in the first hours of this new year. And I guarantee you, you would start praying just so that you could live up to that resolution. This new year will be what you make And your death will be what you make of this year. You don't need to worry about the when and the how or even the where. The what is all. And as you live, so you die. This is in your power. It is in your hands. It has always been there. Lead a good Christian life. Live today as a good child of the church and of Jesus and Mary. And you will be setting the terms for your own death. So favorable indeed will they be that with St. Paul you'll be looking every day for the blessed hope and for the coming of the glory of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Happy New Year. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.